we're all a community here. You know, this ain't about me, it's just about all of us. Just like continue to support each other. And What are you cooking, Billy? Broth and bacon. Well, friends, welcome to this episode. We are headed east. If you look at our new travel maps, which include all the locations that we've ever been to, you can get to those on Google with the link in the description. You'll notice that all of our destinations of choice are typically north and south. We never go east and west, and the reason we don't go east and west is why, Rachel? These PA roads are terrible. Well, what's the real reason? I, I'm feeling a little car sick. This is all because of it, is because to go east and west, you need to get on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which has become outrageously expensive, and it's even worse if you're towing a trailer. So then we routed ourselves with the GPS to take a certain route that I had planned, and I had looked at the maps all day to figure out, but GPS is still like to take you on really weird shortcuts and so it wanted us to make a left on a road unsuitable for towing a 35 foot travel trailer. Yeah. We knew that that was a bad idea. We knew we didn't like that road so we chose a different route. Well then the stupid thing rerouted us to the turnpike without our knowledge and tried to get us on the turnpike and by the time we caught up to that we was in the middle of nowhere didn't know where we were still don't know where we are or how to get where we're going. We've since rerouted and... Again. It's like the third or fourth reroute at this point. Rachel's car sick. I'm extremely stressed out because I don't have faith in GPS, no matter which app I've tried, and I don't know where I'm at. And I don't like not knowing where I'm at with a 35 foot travel trailer behind me. Our destination though is Little Buffalo State Park. Are there buffalo, Rachel, in Little Buffalo State Park? I really doubt it. It's just, it's just a little bit disappointing. Not even a little one. But again, we're in Pennsylvania, so. Disappointment all around, but. <laughs> not for long. Not for long. We have some exciting things planned, actually. So we are hoping that wherever this GPS is taking us at this point actually is Little Buffalo State Park. And we will see you there. started trying to organize this space over here. You can see I hung my water hose. It's on a hook up here, and then the power cord is on a hook back there. Just trying to find places for things. We've got a leaf blower now, so trying to make use of the front pass-through storage here. This 50 amp cord is heavy, so I'm gonna get it out, hook her up here. I don't even know if we have 50 amp at the site. I think we do, but we could have been over this way a wee bit more, but I'm okay with where we're at. Tough getting in this site, actually. from the campground here at Little Buffalo State Park. Last night we just kind of got set and hung out a little bit with Bill, made some dinner. Bill from Maxim Outdoors has his site just right down here. Several other people are gonna be getting here shortly and have sites in the area, so we'll be getting to meet all them as the day moves along. But uh, right now this morning, we're trying to 
walk down to the lake real quick because Rachel does have to work from the camper nine to five today. So right now it's about seven something in the morning. We're gonna try to make our way down the lake, just check out the lay of the land here a little bit. So the campground here at Little Buffalo is really nice. Seems like it's been freshly updated and upgraded but it is quite small. Supposedly there's a campground spur trail that's supposed to be taking us down to the lake. We haven't quite found, so we've kind of bushwhacked our way down to this building here, but I see a sign for the spur trail. So I think we're on the right track at least. First time actually using this outdoor griddle wannabe blackstone thing. So we're trying to get a feel for it, but it's nice to be able to cook all the pancakes at once versus like before doing it on the cast iron griddle. You can only do three at once. This so I can do double that and probably better if I spaced them out more. We're doing some sausage over here. So yeah, just kind of enjoying the morning. It's gonna be a little bit of a relaxing morning here while Rachel works. We're gonna probably head over to the playground in a bit. And I think we're going to go over to the pool later. This state park, bu Little Buffalo here, features a pool. It's one of the few in Pennsylvania that does. But, okay, let's get breakfast going. Friday afternoon and uh, Rachel's finishing up the work day and the kids is watching something on TV and I just thought we'd come down here and check out Bill's humble campsite here. Clean up. It's a mess here. Yeah, he's got a Can't little bit of a mess going house on. Wherever it's a mess. Well, I can <laughs> film whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> just got back after, uh, oh, there goes my aunt. See, it was lying. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Bill just hiked like 10 miles, so he's had a Heck of a day. Yeah, it was a good day. I trapped an ant in my battery box. I saw some turtles and yeah, I like turtles. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. Throughout the course of the weekend, we're gonna just be meeting up with some other YouTubers and just kind of hanging out. And Yeah, it's so, gonna be a good time. I think uh, Walter said there's gonna be what? 12, like two dozen people yeah. here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. A couple of Instagrammers too, like Cole, Bob, uh, trying to think who else, but yeah, it should be a good turnout. Definitely gonna need a shower before then. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the most part today, we've just been kind of hanging out. The kids have been up at the playground for like three hours, so they've enjoyed that. But now we're back here at the camper. Rachel's done with work. An ambulance is holding too. <laughs> like, uh, it's a camper ambulance. Oh. <laughs> Bill's here with us. Bill's gonna cook us some food. What are you cooking, Billy? Brats and bacon, why not? Brats and bacon. And over here, this is Darcy. Her channel is Darcy's Hiking Diaries. So you'll want to check her channel out as well. I don't even know if I've mentioned that this whole deal is a YouTuber's meetup. We got YouTube Row going on here behind us. So people should be kind of filtering in shortly. I know Bernie from Bus Campers, he said nine o'clock he'll be getting here. And we're gonna film a tour of his bus. Uh, that'll probably be a separate episode maybe in and of itself. We'll see how things play out here.
Well friends, welcome back to Little Buffalo State Park for the 2024 Pennsylvania YouTubers Meetup organized by Walter Zolna who has a site just down the way. So we're gonna hopefully be talking to him shortly. But we're excited to have you join in the festivities here. Right now for the family, I'm gonna grill up some burgers and I'm also getting out some deer bologna for, to try to you know spread to some people to try and things. Yeah, it should be a fun evening. I'll try to show you the festivities as they transpire here. But who knows how that's all going to turn out. So we're getting there. Let's get some burgers on the grill now because the kids is hungry. Trying the old Weber out again. We got some burgers going on here. And uh, got a deep fryer we're going to start going with here shortly. We get some french fries going. So this ought to be a pretty, pretty good meal. Some venison bologna we'll share with some others as they come around. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good evening I think. Alright friends, good morning. Today's the big day, the Little Buffalo 2024 meetup. And right now it's about 6.15 or so in the morning. Just getting up, getting some breakfast going. We're going to be doing some sausage and pancakes here on the griddle. Pretty excited for it. And uh, we're going to head over. Uh, we're all meeting over at the big parking lot across the way. And it should be maybe pushing 30 creators here all sorts of channels we'll have a list in our description below of all the channels here so you're going to want to you know check anything out that interests you or whatever but uh, for now let's get some breakfast going and then we're going to head on over So we've managed to get the whole family in the truck. It's 20 after 8, so we're not even late. That's an accomplishment, I guess. We uh, got everyone fed, the dogs are fed, the kids are fed, we're fed. The, and we even got some cleaning up done prior yeah. to getting over here, so I was proud about that. That's the list we have to do when we get back, so. Yeah, we do have some things to do today, so we can't stay all the way till 3 o'clock like we normally do, but such is life, so. We're gonna enjoy this walk around Little Buffalo State Park. We'll show you what we can. Should be a fun time. There's a lot of history here at Little Buffalo with the grist mill and covered bridge and things like that. And even the Blue Balls Tavern Museum. So we'll see, hopefully the museum is open. I don't know what time it opens, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're over here at the pool parking lot. Look at all the people that have shown up. Got a chance to meet some fellow creators. Sarah's just excited about the whole world. We got uh, Ryan, Hiker Dude Dad, Bus Campers is over there, Darcy's Hiking Diaries. Uh, uh, Craig Copple's over there someplace, got to talk to him. Cliff, the Wandering Woodsman, is camping with us. Bob, who does a lot of stuff with Day Hike Dave. He's over there, so he was healthy enough to come out today, so we're appreciative of the fact that he's here. Day Hike Dave is here as well, who we did Dolly Sods with. And then uh, Walter Zolna, you can see his car over there. I'm not sure where he went, but he's the one who organized this whole thing. So big thanks to him for putting this together. And there's like 30 creators here. So like I said, list to that in the description so you can check out everybody's channel as soon as I can get my hand on a list of everybody who's been here. Good so far? Yeah, it's overwhelming. It, it is a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to mingle a little bit more and, uh, and then I think we're doing a walk here shortly. It's like 9.15 right now, so basically what I had planned here was about a three mile hike 
uh, oh, me. from here along the lake oh, to the historic yeah. district. Mm -hmm. It's called the Blue Ball Tavern. It's a little museum, and uh, they're supposed to open it up to the Curry County Historical Society. They're supposed to open it up for us at uh, 10 o'clock so we can get a little private tour. But I'd like to get a group photo. I think Bob's going to set up a photo. Uh, we're going to have to try to fit everyone <laughs> into a photo here. Yeah, so just thanks to everyone. Um, dearly. <laughs> and, uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. you, love you love Absolutely. Yeah, and then like, I just want to say, like, we're all community here, and uh, you know, this ain't about me, it's just about all of us. It's like, continue to support each other and try to comment and connect with everyone. And if you can, uh, you know, subscribe to everyone's channels, we got some smaller channels here starting now, and we got some bigger yeah. channels. And it's not about that, it's about us uh, doing our thing and, and sticking together and supporting each other. Here, here. That's about it. Let's try to get a photo together. And I, uh, So we've just been walking along the fisherman's path here along the lake. I believe we're coming up to the dam now. Should get some good views of some things from up there. Rachel and the kids are up ahead of us somewhere. We seem to have lost them. So over here we have an old rail car. This is from the logging era when they were deforesting the state of Pennsylvania. I believe there was a narrow gauge railroad that came through here. This was one of the last cars left on the property after they got rid of everything. And it was, I guess, part of the dismantling of the railroad was this car here. And I wanna say this trail here is the grade from the railroad back, back this way. course if railroad history is something you're interested in we'll be going back to Cass later this year and we're going to be riding in a caboose behind one of the only operating Climax logging locomotives left in the world so you know, be sure to stay tuned to the season for that. We could do that. <laughs> How about, oh we're the boys in chorus. We hope you like our show. We know you're rooting for it but now it's time to go. There you go. Oh. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We couldn't get Dave to do it at Dolly Sods, but here we are at Little Buffalo and he did it. So He was probably too out of energy when we were at the Sods. <laughs> So this here is Clay's Bridge, Clay's Covered Bridge. Looks like it used to be a mile away from here, one mile west over the same creek, but it was originally built in the 1890s, so these things seem like they last a lifetime. This one is a burr arch. This is a short one, so it's not real long or anything, but it is red, unlike most of the ones back home in Bedford County. This area around Little Buffalo, there's covered bridges everywhere. You wouldn't believe how many there are, so if you're into covered bridges, you know, come to the campground here and you could do a covered bridge tour and probably see like 20 of them. One of the things that always fascinates me about these covered bridges is the old wood. There's steel and stuff under this one. It's been refurbished and redone several times. But, I mean, this wood is still the original wood from like the 1800s. And, of course, that's why they have a roof, is to keep all that stuff out of the weather. And if you keep wood out of the weather, it lasts, man. It lasts a long time. And as you cross the covered bridge, look, there's a grist mill up here. So we're going to go check that out now. Pretty exciting stuff. Historical stuff here at Little Buffalo State Park.
friends, at times this mill does operate. I, I'm not sure when exactly. We've got some mixed information on that. Some say like just during some special festivals and times. There's one to three weekends, other times by appointment. It says the mill was constructed in the mid 1830s by John McKeehan and James McGowan. In the late 1960s, it ended up in the hands of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. They made this state park in part of the initiative to have state parks in Pennsylvania within several miles of everybody, every resident of the state. So behind me you can see this house that the Schaffs built. That's across the road from the Schaffs mill. I think the mill was originally built something to do with the lumbering industry. Then the Schaffs ended up with the property and built that house over there and they were using it more for agricultural purposes. But it's a, just a beautiful setting here. Lots of history here at this little Buffalo State Park. Yeah, I don't know where we're headed next. I believe maybe over to the tavern. We're going to follow, follow along with the rest of the group here. This old kitchen, classic old refrigerator. This is an old electric stove. Neat place. A modern phone, though. I don't. I don't think that's a store. This kind of reminds you of somebody, don't it? Someone named Hooter. Alright, so I've just been told there's a basement, so we're gonna walk down into the basement and see what's down here. I was told it's it's worth it. Okay, so like this is down to earth, old, old, old stuff. Old fireplace. This was the great river of King's Highway from Carlisle to Sunbury. So here in the museum, they have a piece showing all the covered bridges in the area. And so you can see Clay's Bridge, where we just were. So this has 14 covered bridges on it, but I'm pretty certain that there's quite a few more that you could see in this area. So if that's something you're into, uh, you know, this would be a good re resource for you. So friends, over here in the museum, we have an old lawnmower, and this is what people would have used to mow their grass back in the day. And it's funny though, technology hasn't changed much as it relates to this. I don't mention it ever on the channel probably, but I do have a degree in turf grass. We use the same stuff on fine golf course turf to mow grass. You have a reel and a bed knife, and it's like scissors, and the grass gets cut. And that's how you get the highest quality cut, not like your rotary mowers and things like you use at home. But yeah, hundreds of years later, we're still doing the same stuff when it comes to golf courses with some, you know, finer technology involved. But the con basic concept is still exactly the same. There's a lot of railroad history in the area too. We talked about the narrow gauge lumber railroad that went right through here. Got some nice pictures of stuff like that going on in the area. Definitely a lot of logging. Down in the basement here, we was just talking about how taverns back in the day, this was a major travel route, okay? And taverns like this one were used as a meeting place where people would get their news of what was happening in the area. And so, you know, people would congregate here and discuss, you know, what might dangerous things on the road ahead or what did you see coming from the other direction or things like that. And, you know, here it is, a meeting place for me and my fellow YouTube creators. So, pretty cool to get to experience this. Pretty neat old building full of some rich history. Make sure you come here and check this place out. Uh, since we got you kind of alone, just like to 
thank you for organizing this whole thing. I really appreciate it and getting everybody together. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, it seems like we've been getting together more and more, and it's, it's been great, you know? Yeah, it's and, been uh, really enjoyable. <laughs> uh, we got not, to... not quite the Dolly Sods here, but, uh, you know, a nice little walk and some points of interest. So. Yeah, and well, we got to hang out by the campfire and stuff last yeah, that night. Was, I really like that, too. Some good camaraderie, and that's really what it's all about. I mean, Absolutely. the scenery is a big part of it. Uh, getting to see new places and stuff, but just building relationships and yes. stuff. So yes. it's been real. Absolutely. So appreciate you getting everybody together. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. I'm very happy and uh, glad to see you guys again and everyone here. So, yep. Thanks awesome. for doing it. All right.